Okay, so here's a question that's near and dear to my heart. So suppose you're trying to cook some Brunswick stew at home. As a note, if you don't know what that is, ask someone with a southern drawl. If I don't sound like I have a southern drawl, I can pull it out if I want to, y'all, but I don't typically talk like this. Please don't get a lot of comments saying I should talk with a southern accent because I think my wife would kill me. Okay, either way, you are starving. Oh no, you're starving. How can you make the stew cook faster? Well, how do you? Now, the first thing you might think to yourself is, I know what I'm going to do. I know what I'm going to do. I'm going to turn the heat up. Okay. And that can be true. Um, as a note, this is not a cooking class. I'm So anybody who's going to get angry at me for this, please, please, let's talk about it later. So, you know, you got your Brunswick stew in here. You know, there's the liquid. Mmm, looks good. And lots of bites of squirrel or something else. And so the first thing you think is you're just going to turn that dial up. So it was to here. And now you're going to move it to extreme. Okay, so you turn it towards extreme. And that's going to put a whole lot of heat into this at once. So that is a possibility for you. But here's the thing. If your Brunswick stew was boiling beforehand, so this guy was boiling, then its temperature is equal to the saturation temperature, which means Adding more heat doesn't actually help it. Okay, rats. So our temperature is already constant, and so we can't add more heat to help. Well, the way you can actually make it cook faster, though, is once again, let's do this a little bit better this time. There we go. Little chunks of food is to keep the temperature constant, but to put a lid on it. So if you take a big heavy lid and you put it over top of your stew here, what will happen is that your pressure will go up. And if your pressure increases, then your saturation temperature also goes up. And since you're adding heat to this constantly, your temperature will be equal to your new saturation temperature and it will go up. And so this will cook faster. This is the reason that pressure cookers are amazing. You know, pressure cookers are awesome because what they do, the reason they can cook so fast, is because they use increased pressure to increase your stagnation temperature. So this is something you can already use the knowledge you have to actually affect your real life. So thank you all so much, and I'll see you all next time. Bye-bye.